when when a game is on the line, you have to over communicate with coaches and use basketball lingo, use basketball verbiage. And one of the ways I talk to coaches late in the game is I cut all the BS out and I go to them with coach by rule. Coach, by rule, this is what I have to do. Coach, by rule, the shot clock has to go to this. Or coach, by rule. Now you're talking they, their kind of language. You can't go over and say, well, he didn't really mean to kick the ball, but he shouldn't have done it, but we're going to reset it to 20 because of this. It's in the back. You got to talk basketball language to them then. And the other thing I would say is don't get in a rush late in the game. If you have a problem at the table and there's three, three guys working this game or girls working the game, get input from all three of them. You don't know everything, Sean. I don't know everything, Sean. The U2 on the crew might come to us and say, hey, did you guys think about this? You know, it's clearly an F1, but the clock didn't stop. All we, all we were looking forward to, he t- and we see he did, but we forgot the clock ran an extra three seconds. That, you know, makes sure happen. And then – I huddle up as my crew. I say, okay, guys, let's make our decision here. This is what we're going to do. We're going to call an F1 on 22 and 10 blues going to shoot. And then we're going to put the ball in play in here. Are we okay with that? Once you make a decision, then you tell the coaches. You don't get the coaches together and start stuttering. You don't bring them together and say, well, we might have kind of would have, should have done. When you bring coaches together, this is not up for debate. This is the rule. This is what we're going to do. And you put the ball in play. You control the game. They don't. But when you do these things at the end of the game, you got to be right. You know, and if you listen to coaches talk, and I was fortunate to get to go to a coach's clinic a few years ago, and I was amazed at one of the things they talked about when they talked about game tape. And the coach speaking says, I've never seen the first half of one of my game in 25 years. I was listening going, that they start their games at the end of the game and back up. So he says, I may not even get to the 10 minute mark in, in the second half. You know, we start the end of the game and back up because that, that's where the game is on the line. And it should be the same for officials. If you miss a travel at 18 minute mark of the first half, they can they can recover from that. You miss a block charge with 12 minutes to go in the first, they can recover. You miss a clock issue or a block charge play or a travel play with 12 seconds to go in a game, that's on Sports Center. That they go back and show – they don't show what happened in the first half. They show the mistakes you make down the stretch. That's when you got to tell yourself, i got to be perfect. And as a new ref on this call, if you're in a game and you know something's not right, it's, it's on you to go tell the crew chief, this isn't right. The shot clock stopped or the game clock's not running or this is the wrong shooter on the line. You are a, you're a crew. You cannot make these kind of mistakes late in the game because it's magnified so much. But your communication with coaches at the end of the game, talk their language, tell them the rule, put the ball back in play, and get the game going. Sometimes we, we spend way too much time communicating because coaches – one coach is going to be happy, one is not. Well, we can't stand another five minutes and argue with it. Get the ball back in play, get them refocused on, on the game, and let's get going. But just make – I would get all three of you on the same page, Sean. But another great question.